every 23rd spring for 23 days it gets to eat. Just kidding guys, don't get scared. I'm not Derry, I'm actually Mike. Did you think I was Derry's ghost then from Jeepers Creepers too? <laughs> Uh, what's going on you guys welcome back to another video yes i'm rocking the dairy jenner shirt from jeepers creepers and today i was going to do a scary story saturday that was my originally plan original plan but i had a really weird and bizarre dream last night and you guys know i love to talk about my dreams so as usual the dream kind of is choppy it goes all over the place but i'm going to try to tell you as i remember it i just sat here then because i couldn't remember it and luckily enough i did as soon as i woke up i talked in to my phone like the video i recorded myself saying the dream so i kind of pieced it together now i remember what it was like and it was a really bizarre dream and you oh guys do you remember me telling you about how i have this like reoccurring dream about the water slide i've told you that one right like when i told you in the tattoo dream i had where i was on the water slide with tattoo and i said i've had this dream before about the same exact water slide this water slide was in this dream i just think that's worth mentioning but anyway guys this started off and it was really bizarre from what i remember it started off in a world where it was like the law for people to stab you <laughs> like people had to legally stab you everywhere you go so you were in constant danger 24 7 and i was with tina and we were it was night time and i was by these train tracks which is another funny thing because i've told you guys i've got like this reoccurring dream about these train tracks now the train tracks that i had in this dream were the same train tracks that i've told you guys that i keep dreaming about with the red light and stuff like that and again it was nighttime but this time was different i was with tina and it was like kind of like the purge but you're outside and you had to literally avoid everybody because everyone had a knife and it was a fucking stabbing frenzy out there man it was a dangerous world where it was literally the law and people would like be crying like there was this one girl so we walked down the train tracks to avoid any human contact at all but then we kind of climb over this fence and then we're back into like a street and there we encounter some people and it's a young girl and I think she's alone and she's probably about, I would say maybe 17, 18 years old. And she comes out of nowhere with this big fucking butcher knife and slashes me. It goes right through my hand, comes out the other side. And I'm like, whoa, cause I like put my hand up to stop her to like protect my face. And it goes, and she's like, I don't remember it hurting though, which is weird. I don't remember feeling pain, but I remember feeling like, oh shit, I've been caught. Like that kind of feeling. Um, and she was crying and she said, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's the law like I have to like you literally were hunted by everybody um, And that was really scary. It was a really bizarre dream Now we got to the end of this road and when you get to the end I recognize this road in real life, too It's actually by my mom's house and when you go to the end of this road It turns left and then you come out onto the main street. So there near enough on the main street um, the end of that road I encounter an older woman who is keeping a young girl like she's not super young probably about the same age as the other girl who stabbed me like 16 something like that she's got her held captive in what is in real life an actual store and it's got like glass windows so you can see in there it's just a little store i'm not sure what store it is but it's a store and in this dream there was a girl held captive in there and she was like screaming and crying so i had to free her which i successfully did and it really wasn't that hard to do i literally opened the door and i was like come on come on come on and then she came out and that was it like she took off i took off with tina and we ended up going toward we me and my me and tina ended up going heading toward my mom's house don't know what I, what happened to the girl she just disappeared um it's like everybody was just scared of each other there was literally no trust at all you could not trust anybody so me and tina were like sticking together it was literally us against the entire fucking world because it was like you got to stab each other this is the way it is now it's the law and that was really really crazy really scary but then it goes a little bizarre now i don't remember anybody stabbing each other at this next part um it, but it does change and again it's about the law and i don't know maybe i've been thinking too much about laws and taxes and stuff like that but i dreamt this is so funny um <laughs> i dreamt that there was like a tax on candy bars and not just the tax like you know you buy it and it's it costs a little extra because of taxes i'm talking when you every time you consume uh, a candy bar you have to pay 
$13 tax. And I was fucking livid. I was furious. I mean, you guys know me. I love candy. <laughs> I love food like that. And uh, it wasn't just candy bars, though, like Baby Roots and Butterfingers and Three Musketeers, those kind of things. Those were the ones that were, like, taxed $13. So every time you... And it was, it was a super strict law, too. Like, it was literally you were committing the worst crime ever if you committed tax evasion on these candy bars and you didn't declare that, okay, I've just ate a baby Ruth, now I gotta pay $13 to the government. Like, if you didn't declare your taxes, you were literally the worst criminal on the earth. It felt like that because of the way people were acting. And I did encounter people at this point in my dream, there was no stabbing each other. So I guess like that part of the dream changed to this. Um, and I was with, I guess it was my family. Yeah, it was my family. And I saw an old friend from high school too. And uh, they were like, I did eat a candy bar and I didn't pay the taxes on it because I was like, fuck that. I'm not paying that bullshit. Like I just eat a fucking candy bar. I was literally furious that I was swearing like crazy. And uh, I was even swearing in the video that I like, I was going, fucking this, fucking that, fuck you. Like it was crazy. I was so angry about this tax because I thought that's fucking stupid. It's so fucking wrong. Uh, they're literally stealing money and I yelled at everybody like my family and I was like you're all fucking stupid You're all fucking dumb like don't you understand the government's taking your money and you're just sitting there with a fucking big smile on your face Like allowing it to happen. This is bullshit. You're all fucking dumb. How fucking dumb are you people? Like I was like so angry at everybody um, because it wasn't just candy bars, but it was also donuts. Like if you ate a donut, you had to declare $13 taxes to the government. And it was ridiculous. Not only that, but they were doing regular checks. Like they were searching people and they were like, there was police everywhere and it was super intimidating. They were like everywhere. They were stopping and searching people for any kind of remnants of a candy bar wrapper in your pocket or something like that. It was bad. And I was thinking like, <laughs> this is fucking insane. Like you people are fucking Fucking, you, I, like, am I the only normal person alive anymore? Like, I was so angry at everybody. I was yelling and swearing and cussing out my family, my friends, because they were all just like giggling and like, well, I was like complaining about the taxes and they were all like, well, that's just life, <laughs> like that. Um, and I fucking hate people like that. You know, people who just kind of giggle it off and like, that's just life. Well, it doesn't have to be life. Like we could get up and fucking fight for our rights. You know, we don't have to be paying $13 a candy bar just to be able to eat it. This is ridiculous. This was bullshit. And you're all fucking stupid for sitting there with a big happy smile on your face while the government is literally fucking you in the ass and you're just taking it like cowards. But it was crazy, man. I was so angry. But it wasn't just, here's where it gets extra bizarre. It wasn't just the, uh, the, the candy bars and the donuts. It was also a vape juice. Now, as you guys know, I'm a vapor. I stopped smoking about probably six years ago because I started vaping instead. Um, and I feel much better for it. I know there's like controversy around it, but it's, it works for me. It's better for me. So get this. I go into this place and it's like a long fucking like store, I guess. And I went right to the end. There's like a cashier and he's standing there and he, behind him, he has like a bunch of vape juice and stuff like that. And I say to him, yeah, can I get a bottle of vape juice? And I'm with my friend from high school at this point. And right next to me is a water slide. And it's the same water slide. It like comes down and it's like, woo, woo, woo. Like one of those ones that goes down like steps. And it ends right in front of the cashier. Like that's where they come down and they stop there and they get off. It was stopped right there. I was still like with my friend buying some vape juice. And the guy gives me this bottle and he's like, oh yeah, you also legally have to have this. And he hands me another thing, which also looks like vape juice. But he, I was like, okay, what is that? Like, what am I supposed to do with this? He's like, it's, you have to make a concoction. It's the law. Now you can't just have vape juice. You have to have vape juice and this other stuff and make a concoction and then put it in your vape and use it. And I was like, okay, well, what is it? And he's like, it's, it's like this medicine, it's medication to prevent a cold. Now I think this is all because you guys know I'm fucking sick to death of the COVID like bullshit that's going on i think it's because of that um and he's like yeah you have to have you have to legally have this it's to prevent the cold it's pr to stop people having a cold and to stop it's to fight the cold but it's medication and i was like are you fucking kidding me and he's like no this is the law and i was like 
I'm not putting that shit in my vape. Like, give me a pack of cigarettes instead. And my friend was like, you're going to start smoking it. And I was like, well, I don't care. I'm not fucking vaping that shit like fucking medicine. Um, putting that in my to prevent a cold like that's fucking dumb. It's ridiculous And everybody seems to be okay with these new bullshit laws. It was so bad guys I was I was literally livid. It was crazy and I woke up so angry this morning I was like fuck everybody. They're all fucking dumb My life is hell because nobody wants to like stand up and you know Create a big deal over these dumb taxes and this fucking like you legally have to put this medicine You have to mix this medicine with your vape juice to be able to vape it and it's to somehow like kill a cold and I was like, what the heck? Like, what is going on with the world? Not only that, but it was the law to stab each other too, which was, wow, that was wild, man. It was crazy. It was literally like the purge, but wow, I don't remember anything else that happened after that. Um, that's all I managed to say in the, in the, the story in the video that i filmed on my phone um but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think of that <laughs> in the comment section i think i'm just so stressed out which is this is something i want to make a video about in, on its own it's just like taxes and you know laws and rules and restrictions and regulations and stuff like that like it's i've got some really good points like i sit and think about this all the time and it's really got me thinking like is america even free anymore has america become um, the very thing that it once fought against, you know, like this extremely, I mean, I'll save it for another video, but it's, I think me thinking about all this stuff and how complicated life is in America, it, I think it's got me thinking like about, <laughs> I guess it got me dreaming about like these heavy taxes on candy bars. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Have you ever had a dream like that, like about the purge or about like taxes? <laughs> let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Smash a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you right back here in the next video. Peace out, guys, and chase your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.